subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson welcome to one more class of sex determination so sex determination in animals is categorized under three methods the first one is chromosomal theory of sex determination and the second one is genetic balance theory and the third one is a haplodiploidy method so today we are going to learn about chromosomal theory of sex determination the chromosomal theory of sex determination is depend mainly upon the sex chromosomes or allosomes so that's why this type of sex determination is known as a genetic or chromosomal sex determination here the sex chromosomes or allosomes play important role in determination of the sex so depending upon the nature of uh, sex chromosomes they may be heterogametic and homogametic heterogametic means the two sex chromosomes are different homogametic means the two sex chromosomes are similar are same so depending upon the heterogamity of uh, male or female sex uh, sex determination is divided into two types uh, that is male heterogamity and female heterogamity so here in male heterogamity the males produce uh, different uh, types of uh, sperms in female heterogamity females produce different uh, types of uh, ova so depending upon male heterogamity the sex determination is of two types xx xo type and xx xy type coming to female heterogamity here the females are heterogametic males are homogametic so the males zz so remember that uh, while writing the type of sex determination first we have to mention the female then male that's why xx female xo male same in female heterogamity the, the first one is a um, female and the second one indicates the male so the female is heterogametic and the male is uh, homogametic let us see the male heterogamity first so the male heterogamity is of two types xxxo type and xxxy type so first xxxo type this type of uh, sex determination is discovered by maclung while working on grasshopper so this is the grasshopper so here the males are heterogametic so the males produce different types of uh, sperms the males have only one sex chromosome so the sex chromosomes in males are x so o indicates nothing here so the male produces dissimilar type of gametes so here you have to remember one thing the chromosomal number of the females is even in number but the chromosomal number of males is odd number because only sex only one sex chromosome is present so odd number okay you have to remember this one for your examinations so males have one chromosome less than the females especially sex chromosome unpaired x chromosome is present in the males that's why males are odd in number females are even numbered so the males produces 50% of sperms with the x chromosome and 50% of uh, sperms with the, without the x chromosome only it contains autosomes so this is the karyotype of the male grasshopper aa means a diploid condition of the autosomes and xo are the sex chromosomes in the males so o means zero nothing here only one x chromosome is present that is a unpaired x chromosome is present in males while coming uh, to the karyotype of the female karyotype of the female is aa that is the autosomal pair and sex chromosomes here 
one pair of sex chromosomes are present those two are the x so females produces over 100 percent all the ova produced from the female contains one one x chromosome but the males produces two types of sperms 50 percent of the sperms contain x chromosome remaining 50 without x chromosome they contain only the autosomes when the fertilization occur between sperms and ova so if this sperm is fused with this ova then the sex of the offspring is a female because it receives x chromosome from the male and another x chromosome from the female that is why it, it becomes a female. If this sperm without x chromosome is fused with ova it produces the male sperm because uh, it receives x chromosome from the mother. So, this you have to remember. So, the sex is, is determined at the time of fertilization. So, which sperm is fertilizing the ova decides the sex of the babies. So, this type of uh, sex determination is present in grasshoppers, uh, bugs and uh, cockroaches uh, and even in roundworms also XXXO type of uh, sex determination is found. Next. Another type of uh, male heterogamity is XX and XY type of uh, sex determination. This occurs in human beings and drosophila. In this type of sex determinations, males and females have same number of chromosomes. Unlike XXXO type, the males have two sex chromosomes, one X chromosome and y, one Y chromosome are present. Females have both X chromosomes act as a sex chromosomes males produce males produces 50 percent of sperms with the x chromosome and remaining 50 percent of sperms with the y chromosome females produces 100 percent of ova with the x chromosome only so the sex is depend upon the fertilizing sperm so if uh, sperm containing x chromosome fuses with the ova then the female individual will be burned if the ova is combined with the fuse with the sperm containing y chromosome so then the sex of the baby is a male so that is why the sex here the sex of the baby is determined at the time of fertilization and that too on the fertilizing sperm so in india normally women are blamed for having baby girl but the sex is depend upon the sperm not on the ova so next one female heterogamity so here the females have dissimilar chromosomes or different chromosomes females have different chromosomes and males have the same chromosome or similar chromosomes so, such type of sex determination is known as uh, female heterogamity and it is also two types uh, ZO and ZZ type, uh, ZW and ZZ type. Let us learn about ZO and uh, ZZ type. So, this type of sex determination occurs in some moths and butterflies. Here, the females have one chromosome less than the males. Here, females have one chromosome less than the males because the sex chromosomes are not paid they are single in number that is only one z chromosome z chromosome is present in female in females males contain two sex chromosomes which are z type so the males produce sperms all the sperms produced by the males are contain z chromosome so this is the male butterfly it produces the sperms which contain only z sex chromosome the females produces two types of uh, ova 50 percent of ova contains uh, z chromosomes remaining 50 percent uh, without z chromosome so the sex of the individual is depend upon the ova which is fertilized by the sperm if uh, this ova that is which contains a z chromosome when it fuses with the sperm it develops a male offspring if 
this ova without a z chromosome when fused with the sperm then it produces a female so the the sex of the individual is depend on the type of ova which is fertilized so this is about the z1 and zz type of the sex determination and the last one is zw and zz type here here also the female is heterogametic it produces uh, two types of uh, ova so it contains uh, two sex chromosomes z and w the males are homogametic so they contain two sex chromosomes uh, which are z only so that's why the females produces uh, 50% of uh, ova with z chromosome and remaining 50% with w chromosome but the males produces all the sperms which contain z chromosome so if the ova with the z chromosome is fuses with the sperm then it uh, develops into a male individual and if the ova with the w chromosome combines with the sperm it, it produces a female offspring so the sex is uh, determined at the time of fertilization this is very important you have to remember the sex is determined only at the time of fertilization and it is uh, depend upon the type of ova or the sperm which are fused during the fertilization so this type of sex determination is present in some birds reptiles and uh, fishes so this is about the zw and zz type of uh, sex determination hope you understand happy studying